Hello, Sagittarius. I'm just trying to make sure my dogs aren't about to start barking like crazy. Now, this is your reading from March the 16th through to the end of March. I think it's the 31st or the 30th. I don't know. Anyway, this is the uh, first card that's come out for you, the Ten of Wands. Carrying a burden. Oh, news coming in, crossed by that. Oh, my gosh, lots of Wands energy for you. The Ace of Wands, the Empress, Sagittarius. In the recent past, we have the Three of Swords. A lot of fire energy coming through. I like it. It's good. And in the near future, we have the strength card. Yeah, wow. I feel like there's a lot of fire here. You know, it's a real Leo energy. I feel like, yeah, fire. You might be aligning with a fire sign if you've got Leo in your chart as well. The fire signs are really going to be kind of helping each other which is good let's see you in the situation so i will talk about these i'm just pulling them out the hierophant we have the chariot for environmental energies <laughs> hopes and fears the tower card and for the final outcome for sagittarius final outcome we have the full, a brand new beginning coming through for you, Saji. And you've got that beautiful Ace of Wands. So much. Oh, wow. And at the bottom of the deck, the overarching energy, we have the star card. Wow, Sagittarius. Goodness. I remember last week we had an amazing reading for you. And this week it's looking like that again. So let's start with this Ten of Wands. Basically what I'm seeing is that You're moving on from a very painful situation here. You're moving on from things that have not been working for you. We have here the Ten of Wands, which, you know, the Wands is fire energy. Something has ended. It's removing this burden that you've been carrying. This could be exhaustion. It could be taking on too many responsibilities. You've been crossed by this Eight of Wands. You just want news or someone to, some sort of communication some sort of clear message, some fast change that's going to get you out of this situation. It's almost like you just want an angel to swoop in and go, okay, I'll take that off you. You don't need to be burdened by that anymore. So I feel like, though, in the recent past we have the Three of Swords, which is the heart this is disappointment, this is loss, this is heartache, this is someone's really hurt you in the past and we're looking at a past energy here of, yeah, it's the something has been healed on a heart level because this is the only negative card. I feel like what you're doing is you've done a lot of work around an issue that revolve that involved this Sagittarius I, I feel like you've done a lot of work around a past hurt and you finally come out the other side I feel like you've you're stepping into this whole new fresh energy around this I feel like you you've kind of found the ability to move on to put it in perspective and to really close the door on this energy once and for all and there's a little bit of fear that it might come back Something didn't work. Something was built on ba bad foundations. Something was just, just not right for you at all, Sagittarius. So, but you've been crowned by this Ace of Wands coming through, this lovely new energy coming through, uh, new fire energy. I think you're finding your spark again. You're letting go of whatever it was. I mean, this this burden that was connected to that three of of swords energy, this sense of disappointment or feeling almost like punishing yourself for something that occurred in the past, that's now ended. That's now ended. And it doesn't mean it was your fault, the fact you were punishing yourself. It's sort of this sense of, yeah, very closed and not open to new energies. It's very much a shut down energy as well, that Ten of Wands energy. 
just not being able to see the way forward, not being able to see where you're going. It's all, like I, I, that's why I'm getting it's a sense of self imposed punishment because something didn't work out in the past and it's almost like I'm unlovable so I'm not going to let anyone near me or I'm just going to shut down because I don't want to get hurt again. So that's all everything that's being lifted, which is great. With this Ace of Wands energy coming through, this is the divine hand coming through and giving you this new opportunity, this refreshed and renewed inspiration, this new motivation. So I feel like, yeah, something really deep, something's been healed really deep down, Sagittarius. And you're moving in. I think you'll be able to feel that Ace of Wands energy coming through. But deep down, the energy is deep down that you may or may not be aware of what's happening. This can be something on a real deep soul level, on a deep energetic level or subconscious en energy. We have the Empress here. So this is this is abundance coming in for you guys, Sagittarius. I feel like by letting that go, that heartache, that and it feels very much you had, however you did it, whatever realization you came to about it, it's just freed you. And so now you're able to step forward into a much more fertile future, into a future that can grow. It's going from stagnation to growth. You're now opening up and allowing, uh, allowing, being open to it's this is a real card of expansion is what I'm getting with this three of with this empress because you know the threes are she's the number three at the top there the threes are definitely around expansion and manifestation but this is there's a real I just want to say there's a real fertility to this card as well that it's almost like a fresh new beginning it's a fresh new start for you guys Sagittarius so incredibly powerful and nurturing energy. So I think, you know, the feeling I get is it's bigger than what you are you know, but this is something that's kind of motivating you deep down. In the near future, we have the strength card, which is beautiful fire Leo energy. Uh, Leo meets Virgo, actually. And the eights are all around possibilities and we have the infinity sign, which is kind of like an eight as well, which is once you connect to that inner strength of yours, once you, I, I feel like you've gained a lot of strength and confidence from releasing this three of swords energy, from being able to move beyond it and actually this real honest um attempt an appraisal of what happened and just being able to let it go you found this amazing inner strength here Sagittarius with this strength card coming through and again with the with the maiden with the Virgo card as well it's something new and vulnerable it's something that's still developing but it's something that needs to be nurtured and that's what you are doing with this Empress energy at the bottom. You're nurturing this inner strength that's allowing you to be able to move into this beautiful fresh energy that's coming up for you. Now you in this situation, we have the Hierophant. Now this is very much the truth seeker, the Hierophant. It's very much, I think it's very much saying I'm going to be true to myself now. And it's taking the, I keep giving the middle path, the middle ground. It, this is the card, can be the card of institutions and traditions as well. This, for some of you, this can be reconnecting to your faith. But this could be reconnecting to a partner, a long-term partner or a marriage, saying this is actually what I want. I want to return to the status quo. I want to return to something that creates deep meaning in my life. And that's what feels good. I want some, I want to return to that stability. That's what I want. And so you're very, there's this real uh, determination to just say, no, I'm not going to accept anything that's not going to offer me that. Especially anything that has anything to do with this past three of swords energy. So the surrounding energies that you may or may not be aware of, we have the chariot. 
which is this is a ca- card of cancer. Uh, it's around there's protection around you. You're being protected. So you're working through a lot and working and you're able to resolve a lot of things in your life. There's a lot of resolution here, but you're able to move forward feeling safe. And I get home as well. Home environment feels important again with this hierophant energy. It feels really important to have stability as to where you're living within your sense of self as well. So, and again, there's this nurturing energy of, of with that beautiful Cancerian energy here. You know, this is the card of conflicts ending in victory here. So I feel like, again, with this and the strength card coming up, whatever is coming towards you now, Sagittarius, you're going to be able to take it on and you're being given divine pr- protection so that you can get through anything that's being thrown at you at the moment. Hopes and fears, the tower card. You don't necessarily want to go back there again. Don't ever want to go back there again. (laughs) Back to what that past hurt was. But at the same time, so you're going to be very mindful of building the right foundations and building, this is a very unstable situation here, this tower card. And stability is really the thing that you're building both externally and internally within this reading, Sagittarius. So this destabilizing force, you definitely don't want. But it's also a case of if you do see it, you're going to get rid of it. So <laughs> with this, with the outcome, we have the full card, which here's your beautiful new fresh start that's coming in, this new energy coming in. This wonderful sense of now I'm free. Now I'm free to move forward and I feel light again. I feel I've released that burden. I've released that heaviness in my heart. I've released that dark energy. I just feel free and light and I feel like I can step forward. And it's this anticipation of a new beginning. There's this real innocence to it, but excitement There's no fear here with this full card. It's wanting to embrace everything that's being presented to you in this moment in time. So it's really, really beautiful energy. And coupled with the star card, which is wishes coming true, connecting into that divine source energy. So that's what I was saying. Some of you might really feel connected to Whatever you consider the source, whether it's your soul, God, spirit, whatever your faith is, I feel like you're really connecting back in. You're being divinely guided. And, yeah, I feel like there's a very deep replenishment on a soul level and emotional level here for you, Sagittarius. So I know last week we had love. You had this amazing love reading coming in, and I think that is often the precursor to this this is the deepening of that reading that was connecting into that beautiful love energy which was healing this as well and this is sort of taking it to the next level where we're going with this now so you know that it's sort of saying if you were having some really nice connections with people uh in, with that love reading that occurred last time this is expanding into something bigger it's taking on a whole new meaning. So now it's not just one person and I'm in love or I've got a really amazing connection with someone. It's like I've got an amazing connection with my soul, with my spirit, with the the divine. I feel connected to everything. I feel open. So, and and I'm ready for fertility and abundance. So for some of you, you are in a space to be bringing in all these amazing new things that you, you are wanting in your life. So... Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm going to pull a card, a message from the universe for you, Sagittarius. A message from the universe. We have fire ant energy. Okay, that's interesting. This is the fire energy and it's saying, yeah, if you've been feeling a little bit burnt out or a bit irritable or irritated with people around you, that's all changing and in fact, this this big shift and change might make you feel like that because things you put up with in the past, you're not going to put up with anymore. I'm going to get a clarifier for that, that fire ant energy. Another clarifier to go with that for Sagittarius. 
clarifier for Saji. What do we have? The hyena. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> this is a bizarre energy, Sagittarius, because a hyena is very snarly and can be a bit two-faced and it's got a black side and a light side and can be someone who's quite sarcastic. And so why why is this message from the universe to you? Everything else is really good and then you've got this energy coming in. So I feel like this is how people might respond to you stepping into this new energy. People often, whether they consciously or unconsciously know it, when someone changes and they have this big internal shift, there's other people don't like it. They just know that there's something different about you. Perhaps there's new opportunities coming your way and they prefer you to be kept small or stuck because that suits them. But it doesn't suit you, Sagittarius. And so I feel like you might be getting from certain people around you some kind of resistance to this, someone trying to, yeah, so, uh, yeah, just a little bit of, I feel like this is water off. This is something you might just have to encounter and put up with. Uh, I'm going to pull uh, one of these mythic tarot cards because they they will give us the truth. They 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 don't hold anything back, these cards. So let's see what's going on with this energy. Who is this person or people? Okay. This is very strange energy coming through. We have the three of cups here. So these could actually be people that are around you that are very close to you. This could be family. This could people be people that think they have your best wishes at heart and are saying, oh, you shouldn't be doing that, but you know deep down that you should be, you're on the right path here. So I feel like there's love with these people. They just might not understand what you're going through right at the moment. They might not they might actually get scared of losing you. I feel like there's fear around this. So they they'll try and say things that are getting a lot of bitchy communication or just trying to try to they're trying to halt this progress that's occurring for you on a much bigger level. Because it could be, you know, something as simple as, you know, just as an example. Uh, like a parent that doesn't want their child to go off and study in Italy for a year or study overseas because they don't want them to go, you know, they don't want them to, they want to keep them safe. You know, there's a whole heap of outbreaks of coronavirus. There's all sorts of things out there and they're like, I'd prefer you to stay here and be safe. So I feel that's why I'm saying I feel like these people have good intentions. It's just that their intentions is different to what's happening on a real soul and divine energy level so there there might be a disparity between what's happening on a much higher level because this full energy might be you know you wanting a new a big be new beginning a new job and people aren't going to be happy about you leaving <laughs> but I, I feel like this is you definitely need to be doing this Sagittarius I'm going to pull a card for the full just to clarify the full card up there Let's have a look at this new beginning. Yeah, we have Crow. Okay, I feel like you're going to very much know what this is that you want. The Crow is a real psychic en energy that's coming through. It's the person, the visionary. But you can see the Crow's in the dark. So it's this sense of some people see the raven or the Crow as, you know, like a superstitious negative energy. So that's why I'm saying you kind of – crossed against people that are going to be thinking that this is not good for you but you have got the intuition and the vision to know that this is where you want to go so i think there's a you, there's a sense of trusting yourself and your your instincts and your process here sagittarius so i just want to actually pull a card for the chariot the chariot card. Let's pull a clarifier for the chariot, that sense of divine protection. And that's what, you know, conflicts ending in victory and feeling protected. You, you're you going to have the, the, the strength and the protection to be able to deal with this. Yeah, we've got Froggy here coming in to clarify the, the chariot. This is energies around you. 
So there's a lot of deep healing happening for you, very deep healing energy coming through. The frog is being nourished by that rain that's coming down upon it. And it, it's, you know, nourishing its soul. That's what is, is coming through for you. It's something that other people may not be able to see, but you're like, I really need this. I need to do this. And yeah, the fact that you're going to be protected along this way, I feel like you're going to, there's healing and protection for you. So I feel like you need to, it's like a passage that you need to go through and it's like people will be throwing rocks at you or you have to walk on fire to get through it to the other side. But it's almost like soul and spirit coming in and going, okay, well, I'll give you some boots that you can walk across the coals with or I can give you protection so that the rocks won't hurt you because that's the door that you need to be walking through. So I hope that that makes sense, Sagittarius. I'm going to pull a clarifier for the Hierophant for you in the situation. Yeah, this is something big emerging from you, something big. And you do need feel the need to protect this. The mother bear protects her cubs, but this is the mother bear coming out of the cave after a long period of hibernation and the sun is rising. It's spring again. There's new growth coming through. So, again, it's this sense of, you know, this is bigger than what anybody else can know or see, this connection. And I feel like, you know, it it is going to create this amazing stability in your life, even though it might be feeling like there's people around you that are unstable, that are trying to kind of bring you down or hold you back. But this is connecting you to something much bigger, much bigger. That's why I'm getting connection to soul or spirit or faith or just something, some kind of stability that you're really needing, Sagittarius. Okay, so I'm just going to pull a card for that Three of Swords energy. Just Three of Swords. We have the Zebra. Okay, this is interesting. So this person, you thought that this person was the one. You thought that this person was unique and they loved you, and they loved you only. And uh, there's a real naivety to this. I feel like you were deeply disappointed by this person because I feel like there was some sort of self-deception or an illusion about what you or and who you thought they were, and they weren't that. And so therefore they've disappointed you, betrayed you, hurt you, Whatever it was, you thought that they were the one or you thought that they were something very special and unique in your life and they didn't turn out to be. So the ten of, I'm just going to look at the ten of wands, the situation that's, so a lot of this I'm getting with this Sagittarius is, with the ten of wands is other people's expectations of you living up to other people's expectations. That zebra energy can also be reversed that someone thought you were the special, amazing one and it's led to some sort of disappointment because, yeah, I'm just getting you versus someone else's expectations. You need to really be true to that. And I feel like with this camel energy, yeah, you kind of went without for a long time. You kind of been putting other people first or living up to someone else's expectation or what someone else wanted from you and not actually gone, what is it that I want? And so what you've ended up as, and yeah, you were strong enough to deal with that, but you got to the point where you just couldn't do it anymore and you just had nothing left to give. So yeah, I feel like that there's just, you're going to find that in inner strength. You've got this new, you're being realigned to the divine and it, it's kind of this wonderful new fresh beginning with the fool. You're really taking steps and stepping into what it is that you want this time. So it's it's huge. These positive new steps are huge and could lead to like things, amazing things with this empress at the bottom that I feel like this is, there's so much this could lead to that you don't even know about yet. So there's just this like huge ball of possibilities here and potential. So I hope that makes sense, Sagittarius. 
If you'd like to hear more, please like, subscribe or leave a comment. Otherwise, take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.